Hi, Lyndon. Are you able to see the PowerPoint? Uh, no. No. Good evening. Good evening. I think. Um, oh. So, Rashad, after you pull up the PowerPoint on your screen, then you have to hit screen share again. There we go. There you, there you go. go. Got it. Good. All right. Okay. okay. It'd be good to begin now. Are ready to start at this? Uh, Moment, I think Nathaniel is the only one that may be absent. So we'll need somebody to be the acting chair for the meeting. Well, I uh, did that last time. If you like, I will do that. I guess is Karen still in our uh, still on our board? Well, they haven't made an appointment yet. Tell Kelly to make an appointment we get an application in. Um, so for that, from that standpoint, she is still a member, but she has uh, stated she wanted to resign. Due to the fact she's moving. Okay. Okay. Ah, very good. Well, um, we have a forum. Let's see, I see uh, Ken and myself and uh, Joe here. You can see Joe. I see D. I think we have, there's Brenda as well as here. Soji John's here. Robert White. Yep. D. I think everybody's here except for. Great. Uh, Karen. Yes. Great. Well, it sounds like we have a uh, we have a quorum. So why don't we why don't we start? It's it's now 7:04 p.m. on April 6, 2020, and this is a meeting of the Board of Adjustments. Um, and our first action is to approve the minutes of the last meeting, which I guess was uh, was that November 4th, shot five months ago. Correct. Okay. Everybody had a chance to review the minutes? Yes. 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 Okay. Um, I've read three of them myself. I have to compliment the uh, the drafter of the minutes uh, for being able to capture all that discussion that we had and very succinctly. So uh, I don't have any um, edits to the minutes. Anyone have any edits to the minutes of the last meeting? No, sir. No, sir. None here. Mr. Chair, I, 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 I will. Uh, All right, I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes. Mr. Chair, I'll uh, motion that the minutes of November the 4th, 2019 would be approved. Second. Is that you, Ken? Uh, I had the first, yes. I don't know who's second. <laughs> Rob. Oh, Rob. Who Rob. was the second? Robert White. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, let's have a vote. Um, I don't know if I can see everybody's hands, but uh, with either a verbal response or a show of hands, is all uh, in favor of approval of minutes? Aye. 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 
Yes. Aye. And I hear that everybody, it sounds like five to nothing. Is that, is that accurate? Yes. Exactly. All right, we'll, we'll move on now to, um, to the public hearing relative to the uh, uh, discussion and consideration of the request from uh, Mr. Craddock. Um, Sean, do you want to describe this uh, request? Sure. Uh, I think that's the original report that looked at it. Oh, sorry, Rashad. I'm having a little bit of trouble hearing you. Yeah, we're all having trouble hearing you. You're muted. Try it. Try it again. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Much yeah. better. The applicant is a representative for a property located at 431 Aston Road. Uh, it's the Dalworth Glass location. Um, the applicant would like to construct an additional warehouse on the subject lot. The proposed building layout would require a variance in order to be constructed as configured. Um, the building location development requirements for a fire lane, appropriate separation from a building on site, and unique lot dimensions have all created a circumstance for a variance consideration. Uh, the actual variance will be a 15 foot side yard setback variance. Um, the industrial zoning district requires a 25 foot setback, side setback variance. Um, the applicant would like to reduce this by 15 feet in order to allow it to be 10 feet. It wouldn't uh, cause any issue with the landscape buffer as required for commercial developments. Landscape buffer requires a 10 foot buffer on the side. Um, and again, as stated earlier, the intent is the eventual construction of a warehouse building that would uh, be similar to surrounding developments. So, Captain is online if you have any additional questions. Do I need to address Mr. Any... Craddock, do you have any uh, comments you'd like to make? Well, I'd just like for y'all to observe that when the ordinance was written, it was written for lots larger than what's currently um that that the current lot the current lot's a lot smaller than what the ordinance normally allows for a industrial zoning lot mm -hmm. so therefore our setback should be i mean in my viewpoint it makes sense for it to be smaller to match the surrounding buildings is there a uh, is there an issue with do you know why the 25 foot was originally set does anyone know well, well, Clint, it was set based on a larger lot. So do you have the ordinance so you can read it? No, I, my, my question is more of why 25 feet rather than 30 feet or 20 feet? What is there, is there, a, for example, do you need room to get a, a fire truck in there or something? Is, is there some physical requirements? that setback. Not necessarily a physical requirement. I will say that there is a fire lane that separates the existing building between uh, the between the, the existing building and the proposed building. Um, and then you have additional parking requirements for the proposed size of the building perhaps. Um, could it be revised to be to meet the 25 feet certainly but it probably wouldn't uh, be feasible on their end uh, and staff has noted that the, the lot configuration is a little weird that it is kind of a somewhat a awkward shape but to answer your question yes it could be designed differently but there are some some that could be considered hardships in regards to the expansion and want to duplicate the same type of building that's on the lot now. Uh, Mr. Craddock, uh, Kim Demko. Um, I noticed that from the over the aerial view of this, there's another building on the on the adjoining parcel. Do we know how far that building is from the proposed building? I think it was about the 10 or 15 foot. Well, sorry, from the property line. From that okay. property line, it's about 10 or 15 foot. Okay, so, so they're, they're, just, only, 
So if we did grant the variance, the only issue would be um, the walls of those two buildings being a fire code for the distance between them. I think as long as it's, I don't have my code right here, but I think as long, yes, that would have to be considered. Right. There'd be no windows on it and it's greater than 15 feet separation. So there shouldn't be a issue with that. If it was, it'd have to be a, a masonry wall or something to, of to course, up of course. the fire code. I see no problem. I see absolutely no problem with it. There's a lot of, of uh, properties in, in the Metroplex that have a zero lot line on the side for a commercial building. So I have no issue with it. And are you describing the east side or the west side? It would be the west side between, if, uh, the, if you look at the slide that uh, Rashad's got up right now, you see there's, no, back up please to the other slide, the overhead aerial view. You see that the proposed property, you see the three buildings going out towards Clay Road or whatever that road is. So I was asking about the west side of that third building, how the proximity between the two buildings. Right. So it'll, I think it'll, it'll end up being like 25 feet. Right. Yeah. But. Yeah. Which would meet all the building codes for pretty much any kind of structure you'd put there. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Sorry. Again, I see no yeah. issue with, with uh, granting the variance there. Well, I drove by there today. So I, I agree with you, Ken. I drove by there today and took a look. This seems like um, with the um, history of that area and the configuration of the adjoining lots and the fact that the, the uh, neighbors didn't have any issues with it, I, I don't see any issue with uh, this variance. All right. In fact, there's probably precedence in this then in this neighborhood. I've actually looked over there to move a shop Mr. myself. Yeah. And it's it's probably there's probably more buildings there that are closer to 10 foot than 25 foot off the side property lines for sure. Sure. Yeah. Mr. Craddock, do you have any further comments you'd like to make uh, before I close the public hearing? I don't think so. I mean, like y'all have said, I mean, we're kind of just doing what's in that area and it's a smaller lot than what the ordinance was written for. So is there any other, anything else I need to address? None from my end. Okay, thank you very much. Any uh, Nothing for me. Let's, uh, uh, let's close the public comments then and uh, any uh, further discussion from the uh, from the board? Any questions for Mr. Craddock or anybody else? I have no question. I just want to reiterate the fact that I think that it's a common practice, and that so long as it doesn't interfere with any kind of building codes or the proximity of the two buildings, then it should be fine. All right. Let's uh, let's uh, have a let's have a motion to approve this variance. Mr. Chairman, I'll uh, make a motion that we approve. Can't go look it back up. The uh, motion or the variance for a ten foot side setback on the west side of the property located at 431 Ashton Road um, as proposed. I second. Very good. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'm sorry, who's and second? I from me. So that's a five nothing. Okay. Who was the second? It Dave, was me. That's you, Brenda. Got it. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, the all uh, the variance is approved. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate Sean, it. Any other business we need to attend to? Uh, no, I just I'll just note that I think we may receive another application for next month's meeting. So probably have a similar sit up set up uh, next month. 
Works for me. Right. Well, we'll, uh, we'll get used to this, it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. All right, you guys, thanks well. a lot. We'll, uh, we'll adjourn the meeting. We'll adjourn the meeting. Thanks, everybody, for doing. Thanks, everybody. Be Thank well. You. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right. Thank you.